Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Sure enough, World 4-1 happens to be a Lakitu stage. Hello. <laughs> that was amazingly dangerous, surprisingly, for the first jump of the level. But yeah, just like the original 4-1 and the original Mario Brothers, for some reason, there's another Lakitu... Oh, Lakitu stage. No. <laughs> I hate these so much. <laughs> Okay, I made it. Yeah, the red ones don't spring you as high. They're like the normal springboards from the original Mario one, but they often are accompanied by this really awkward long gap, and why in the world did I get stuck there? That would not happen in any other Mario game, and ugh, ugh. And I had no rhythm, or no, excuse me, momentum to my jump, and I fell right back into the pit, but somehow I survived. I'm not going to question how I survived, I just know I survived and that makes me happy. By the way, Red Piranha Plants, they're new to Lost Levels. What they do is that when you're standing next to the pipe, they will still pop out regardless if you're standing next to the pipe. So yeah, that means you're not, you won't be able to offset their timing just like you do a green one by doing that. Otherwise, when you're on top of a pipe, they react just like a normal Piranha Plant. Same goes with burning them with fireballs, that'll kill them off as well. And more Hammer Brothers! Seer is it? Is that really worth it? Is it? Is that Ness? No! <laughs> is this real? Jesus Christ! <laughs> is that really necessary? And look at that, they're, now they're triple firing at me and that's the thing that kills me. A jump that was too short. <laughs> Wow! You know what, I'm just gonna avoid that and just slap myself forward here, that'll work, that works for me. And boink! Happy days! No, 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 I don't think so. You're going down before you become a nuisance. Well, you're always a nuisance when, you, when you're around Lakitu, but in Lost Levels, you are especially in a nuisance because of this level design. <laughs> wait, 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 I bet you this has got something. Eh. 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 Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Can I kick this? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> I don't have to kick it across the gap at, uh... Ah, it was useless. It's just got a bunch of coins. Mm, come on, jump. Oh! You had to throw a low one. Of all times to throw a low one. <laughs> Did I hit... Yeah, I hit a checkpoint. Okay. I can live with that. So we're back over here. Not too far away from we were, actually. Because there it is. <laughs> and since there's no power up there, I can just shimmy myself along here. Okay. <sighs> Oh, no. I'm glad I didn't take the lower route. Whoa, he goes down there. You can go through those blocks. You're not allowed to go through those blocks. You're only allowed to go through the brick brick blocks, not the question mark boxes. Oh, boy. I need a lot of rhythm here. Well, momentum, excuse me. Oh, I just missed the one-up. So very close. Someone's probably going to be like, Ah, you didn't just miss the one-up. You were way off. I know the exact spot by the pixel that you get the one-up. And then I'll be like, oh... I are sand pa sad panda. <laughs> Next stage, and wow, that was an awkwardly long jump. <laughs> oh, I didn't have any more forward momentum. I hate the jump controls in this game. It is the bane of my existence, and uh, wow. How close do you have to be to make, I mean, yeah, how close do you have to be to the edge to make that jump? Okay, let's <laughs> just get, us, get ourselves a little rhythm here. There we go, homegirl. <laughs> and now we're making some progress. At least I hope we will be. Okay, wait, wait. Where, what, am I, what am I jumping for here? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> no, please no. Yeah, okay. Oh, man, I should just, like, flop myself down there, because that spring is not going to work for me. <laughs> and that power-up is not worth it. I'm going to stick as being small Mario, if you don't mind. So, let's just continue on the stage! Careful! And now they got random bullet build generator on me. Of course, why wouldn't they have a random bullet build generator? And did I seriously have to be on that upper row? Yeah, oh, wait, maybe I can make that jump. Yeah! Okay, that was like pixel perfect right there. <laughs> um, let's just leap of faith. Holy poopers, scoopers! No! And yeah! Here we go again! Oh, why were you there, Bullet Bill? 
Okay, I'm on the upper road. Upper road is win for that jump for certain and wow. These bullet bill generators, not luck in my favor. No. <laughs> oh. Ugh. How precise is this jump on the bottom layer here anyway? I mean, holy crap. That's, that, it's totally possible, but it's just like, oh my God. Upper route, yes! Hopefully this run will be the run that will be the butter of the bread of my victory. That was sort of a reference there. <laughs> and that, wait, Red Koopa flopped off the edge? You're not allowed to do that. You're supposed to turn around when you hit the edge. That, that's, no, that's against the rules of Red Koopas. Look at that, you, huh. Okay, here we go. Who? Who? <laughs> I guess lives do matter in a way because when you lose all your lives and you hit a midpoint, uh, or I should say an invisible midpoint in a level, you don't get to use that midpoint when you game over. So I guess they do matter in that sense. But at the same time, the hard part of the level is typically at the second part of it. And there we go. See, it's not that hard. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I really am the crazy gaming guy to be doing a walkthrough on this game, especially when I'm not all that experienced in Mario 1 controls. And why is there a giant fire bar? And look at this. Now that Red Koopa is working properly. What? What is it? Just a pair of Red Koopas that don't do the red koopa thing and i ran myself into the koopa butt i don't know how that could possibly hurt though i mean there's just a shell there I, I, maybe the shell is like sharp or something or maybe his tail is sharp i'm not sure but either way it hurts when you touch their butt <laughs> in the original mario whenever you get hit by an enemy from their backside they actually turn around but in this one they don't so uh it doesn't really make all that much sense and oh no <laughs> this is getting silly now. This is getting silly. Lives are being spent like our money in the US. It is a horrendous situation all around. And that Koopa kind of offsets the timing of the fire bar a little bit. So I got to time myself with both of them. E -e -e. There we go. <laughs> okay, looking good. No, no, I don't go in the lava. <laughs> Why would that block decide to go in the lava? I don't know. And I'm going to play a little Koopa bowling here. So I'm just going to yip and yip. <clears throat> there we go. Now I'm going to take advantage of its spinny spin time. There we go. <sighs> oh, no. Yep. Oh. All these jumps are just like panic inducing. <laughs> if you got, and then after all of them, you've got a hammer brother here. The most broken enemy in Mario history. <laughs> I fear Hammer Brothers more than I do Bowser himself, I'm, I swear. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Guess you can't rush that. Oh, come on, that jump isn't that hard. Oh, that worked. So we're back at Hammer Brother Guy Joe here. Okay, uh-oh. No. No. Not this. Please tell me I don't have to take a certain path. Please. Well, I seem to be making progress. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. This... <laughs> Just one block jumps with Poto boos as well as fireballs, and wow. <laughs> There's the castle. This part's gonna take so much editing, so I think I'm gonna end it off here. No, 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 I did it again. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part. You're welcome, Toad Tower, Totem. Yeah.